all of the forms in Gottlieb's paintings, especially in the burst image, are about becoming. They're never about arriving, they're never flat, they never simply are. They're always in process. Nothing ever being resolved, nothing ever being absolute. It's what differentiates his view from, let's say, Rothko's, who felt that there was an absolute that one could attain. When I see the, these kind of marks, I also think of uh, the great essay that Gottlieb wrote in 48 on unintelligibility, the importance of unintelligibility. Graphic marks that conjure up the idea of illegible writing, of ribbons. He really didn't believe that art was for a mass audience, and he was very vocal about that. Yet, everything he does in his paintings is addressed to drawing not a mass of people, but an individual into the work. So the implication of writing, the implication of calligraphy, for anyone who's interested, is gonna start a process of looking and considering. There are various kinds of paints. This is not just artist oil paint. There are enamels here as well. Right. Which is something he started using he was in Tucson, Arizona in 1937 and 38. He talks about running out of artist paints that he had brought with him, and the only other paint he could get were commercial paints at the hardware store. He was asked in an interview in the early 60s why he titles his paintings rather than numbers them, as a number of his colleagues did, and his reaction without missing a beat was, prisoners have numbers. Everything about his paintings is about humans interacting. Is this an icon in, in the religious sense? Uh, I doubt it, but does it have the effect of an icon in the religious sense? It does. <laughs>